Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best keyboard tray. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Mounted Keyboard Drawer. Mounted Keyboard Drawer, this keyboard tray mechanically works fine. It does get held up in one or when I slide it forward but it's not too big a deal. It just doesn't work for me. I don't like the ridges on the keyboard tray. I don't use the extended mouse pad, those things never make sense to me. I like my keyboard and mouse to be next to each other. My keyboard is a shorter keyboard though so I can fit the mouse on the keyboard tray together. But herein lies the problem. Since there are ridges on the tray it jacks up the mouse cursor. I had to put a flat cardboard piece on two of the ridges and then a mouse mate and then another mouse pad so as to keep the area smooth. I don't like that the tray itself is kind of short so you don't have much room to move your mouse around since the keyboard tray doesn't have a barrier on the other end of the tray the mouse tends to fall out the back of it. I don't care for the built-in wrist rest. It's hard and uncomfortable. I was on the hunt for a keyboard tray that was on the smaller side and that screwed into the desk not attached with clamps and that didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Unfortunately this keyboard isn't doing it for me. I think I am going to have to make my own. My setup is a little different so I think it's better I just configure a keyboard to match my needs. I'm most irritated by the mouse randomly floating around because the surface is not smooth. And why do they cost anyway, otherwise it does its job. I really like the idea of attaching this tray to the bottom of the desk instead of using vice grips that can take up the desktop space. I have two main issues with the product, though one, the plastic tray to hold the keyboard is not convenient at all, if your keyboard is not the right size, it might not fit in that space. I have to pull my keyboard out and on top of the plastic edge of the tray to access the whole keyboard. 2. The mouse pullout tray is not sturdy and actually hurts my arm when I'm using it. The number 4 on the list is Vivo Clamp on Tilting Keyboard Tray. Vivo Clamp on Tilting Keyboard Tray, super easy to assemble and install. I bought originally a larger Vivo under desk keyboard and was happy enough. It was lower than this one, but I was making do. I had not originally seen this one. I saw this and thought it would probably fi my needs better. I have an old 9 drawer art deco desk with the pieces that pull out from either side. I am guessing they are for writing but I'm not really sure. The top of the desk has a piece of glass over the top and a triple bevel on the rim. Those features plus the drawer in the middle make it impossible to add a slid out keyboard tray and the desk is a bit too high and small to have a computer and keyboard. I needed something that would clamp on to the two slight outs. This tray is perfect so far for that. Clamped on easily, and if I need it to it will fold down and only project about 3.5 inches from the front of the desk. I never really use the two top drawers of the desk as they are quite small, but if I need to this will unclamp quite simply. I might need to remove the keyboard stop, but I haven't decided yet. I do wish the locking lever was metal and not plastic as I felt like it might break, but I won't be using that part too much so it should be okay. It fits just enough space for a full-size keyboard and a regular mouse. I would have kept this except my desk was a little bit too high and so I needed a keyboard tray that was lower than my desk. It is made of high quality wood and metal. It has positive, negative and neutral tilts. If you like the height of your desk already and want this at the same height, you should buy this also, make sure that your desk isn't rounded and it's straight and make sure. The number 3 on the list is KT1 Ergonomic. KT1 Ergonomic, this looks and feels nice and seems to work well over the last month. Adjustable and able to be locked down to put up with Gorilla, hands banging on a keyboard hoping for Shakespeare. Liked it enough to purchase a second one for wife's desk don't like the mouse locking mech. It seems less than solid. The rubber anti-slide for keyboard was a nice touch, but the front side of it is showing wear and already kinda looking ratty. The mouse pad needs some 3 meters 77 to hold it in place as it just slides off the perch. Wife thought of adding office clips to hold it. A good idea that shouldn't have been needed. Points to her not the company. 
had to cut the rail at the back to fit my lift desk design, but that was my issue just throwing a warning out for those intending to use it on that kind of desk so, because I bought another one, I will leave five, but it could use some improvements. As far as locking the bolt down and staying put, it's great. I installed this by screwing a couple boards into my desk, first as a spacer to help it clear the frame, because I put in on a drafting table. I kind of lean on it a little sometimes, I guess, but the bolt hasn't ever slipped or moved when I didn't intend for it to. It's easy to adjust on the fly and stays every time. I don't use the little outboard accessories for a mouse or trackball. I did use it actually, but I didn't use it in any way they might intend for you to use it, so it's irrelevant. I actually did eventually push the screws holding the boards into my table out and knocked this thing into the floor once, but it never even considered moving from the place I bolted it to or even losing my adjustment on the height. The number two on the list is Vivo Small Keyboard Tray. Vivo Small Keyboard Tray, here's another affordable option that's sure to save you a lot of space, especially for those with smaller desks. The Vivo clamp on keyboard tray is a compact lightweight and scratch resistant keyboard tray that's able to accommodate most keyboards and mice with a combined weight of up to 11 pounds. With sturdy and adjustable C clamps, you won't need to worry about damaging your desk or spending time on a drill installation since it can easily be mounted to desks up to 1.25 inches thick. While the tray can be extended up to 9.5 inches from the edge of your desk, it's important to note that it isn't height adjustable, which may or may not be a deal breaker depending on your work setup. If you have an adjustable chair and a fixed height desk, Vivo's keyboard tray, the number one on the list is Fellows Office Suites. Fellows Office Suites, you can put the mouse slider where you want, which to me kind of makes no sense, unless this is a laptop wireless mouse station, which I accept could be common. I mean if you really think about it for corded mouse desktop solutions, the slider comes out. Once for most applications, unless you intend on moving the mouse into the tray every time, you're done, which I could see being a thing I guess, but I dunno the feature is kind of solving a non-existent problem. Your mouse is going to be on the pull-out bit, and for like of people, it's just gonna stay there. With this comes the pad, wear and tear. Man I never thought this would be a thing. I work 10 hours shifts at home with a mouse on the plastic. Now you'd normally be sitting there going okay, yes that's what it's for but I hadn't considered the wear of the plastic. Every month or so I'd have this odd build up of stuff where the mouse was. Now, maybe I was a slob at first, I thought maybe. So I wiped it up with anti-backs I had laying about. Black I'm like wait, black if I'm a slob, I'm an incredible slob for black. Sure enough, the mouse pit is now smooth. No bumps anymore. Holy crap I've buffed, it's smooth but every month, I'd worn it more. And it was just odd, because eventually, I got this somewhat odd texture of the fine, removed plastic which would build up and have to be cleaned off. Now if it sounds gross, it wasn't it was just noticeable. Mouse would glide great, and then you'd get this powdery grit, like fine sawdust. Except it was black. It just was annoying. And it'd mess with your mouse just enough. Wipe it down, good for a few more weeks. Little no harm done, but I think the plastics here are incredibly soft, and that's a good enough segue to my next criticism. The plastic L brackets are well. Plastic they're not particularly sturdy. One of mine broke on one side of the bracket after less than year in place, I managed to repair it with a significant amount of hot glue for an extra few months, around three or four, and then one fateful day, the whole L bracket sheared straight in two. So I've had this thing since the end of May 19, and it's August 20 now.